10 and 4. 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. And also Psalm 57 verses 2 and 3. 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. Psalm 57, 2 and 3. 2 Corinthians 10 and 4 says, For the weapons of our warfare are not physical weapons of flesh and blood, but they are mighty before God for the overthrow and destruction of strongholds. That's the amplified version. For the weapons of our warfare are not physical. They're not physical weapons of flesh and blood, but they are mighty before God for the overthrow and destruction of strongholds. Psalm 57, 2 and 3, David says, or the psalmist said, I will cry unto God most high, unto God that performeth all things for me. He will send from heaven and save me from the reproach of him that would swallow me up. Right. Then it says Paul's right there. Let you think about it. Hmm. Hmm. He will send from heaven and save me from the reproach of him that would swallow me up. God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. Mm, mm, mm. My subject today, closing out the power of prayer, is mm, not allowing anybody to put their stuff on me. All right, all right. Not allowing to put in, not, not allowing anybody to put their stuff on me. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, don't put your stuff on me. Listen, I hear what you're saying, but let me give you 
some stuff to go into battle with. Mm. He said, let me give you some stuff to go into battle with. And although the king's armor was the best, it was the finest, it was, I mean, it was type of the, top of the line. The Bible said he gave him a copper helmet. It, it's so strong, yet it's light. <laughs> but Jesus said, my yoke is easy. And my burdens are light. And so David, and then David, he he, he obliged Saul. So, sometimes we oblige people too much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We oblige people too much. David obliged Saul. He put it on. But then he came to himself. He said, hold on. This stuff don't work for me. I got to come out of this. And, you know, because I ain't used to it. I, I haven't tried this yet. I haven't gone through something like this that, to where I need this. And then it would imply that I'm relying on a physical presence for a spiritual battle. Amen. Huh. That's what, see, for our friends and family in the world. We go through things and they try to offer us personal advice. You know, if I was you, I would do this. Or if I was you, I, I, I wouldn't do that. Or, you know, hey, 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 don't speak that because you're speaking yourself in a lot of problems. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. I told you, I told you. Don't, put don't put your stuff on me. See, a lot of folks, look at this. All the armies of God, all the men in the armies of God had on Saul's raiment. Mm. But when the battle came and Goliath came out, they turned and ran. So in essence, what David was saying was, how you gonna give me something that ain't even working for you? Oh, oh y'all didn't hear me, y'all didn't hear me. And you tell your neighbor, say neighbor, I told you, don't put your stuff on me. Because David was saying, how you gonna give me something that has yet to work for you? David was like, ha, ha, no, 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 this don't work, this don't work. This is what I'm telling you. There are people who really love you. They really love you. But they're carnally minded. They're not spiritual minded. Yes, sir. They, everything they think about is carnal. And yes, they give good carnal advice. I'm saying it again. They give good carnal advice. Yes. Ever? They will give you good carnal advice. It's golden in the flesh. Yes, sir. But we have to remember and always recognize that we are in this world, but we are not of this world. And Paul reminds us when he said the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Look at your neighbor and say, everything is spiritual. Everything is spiritual. So everything matters. Everything matters. There's nothing that you go through in this life that's not spiritual. I'm, not, I'm talking to the believer today. I'm talking to the believer. Let me, let me clarify. I'm not talking to the sinner. I'm talking to the believer. For the believer, everything we go through is spiritual. That's why Paul says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds or the destruction of strongholds or the destruction of everything that exalts itself in us against the will of God. If 
I gotta compromise to be your friend, then we can't be friends. <laughs> Last week, you go to the club with me this week. Oh, no. If I got a compromise to be your friend, we just can't be friends. Now be okay sometimes. God wants you all by yourself. That's true. That's very true. That's why David said, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name say, Yay! Though I walk through the valleys of the shadow of death, I will fear he's talking about his intimate relationship with God aside from everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. He restores my soul. Oh, my when I get a little down about issues, he come along and strengthen me. He lets me know that everything is all right because I'm with you always. Right. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Yeah. God prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Right. This is a spiritual warfare. I'm setting you up for them to see that I'm with you. Amen. Bible declares that David runs into battle and Goliath sees him and he comes out at him with all this gear, the sword, the shield, the javelin, the knives, all this stuff. And David said, you know what, look at you, you come at me with all this spear, the javelin, and the sword. He said, but I come at you with the word of the Lord. See, see, David understood that this was a spiritual warfare. He said, here's the key. He said, who will defy the armies of God? See, God got folks everywhere that will come in and fight for you. He said, stand still and watch me work. Stand still. See, that's a, somebody in the spirit realm will come by you and see you going through and know that you're ready to launch back and, and the spirit agree with you and they say, hey, 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 don't you do that. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. They ain't going to come with you and say, yeah, let's go get them. No, they're going to say, you have no need to fight in this battle. Because the battle ain't yours. It's the Lord's. We got to understand that the promises of God does not eliminate the battle. But yet it sparks a battle. Everything that you believe in God for, it sparks a battle. I'm going to say it again. Everything that you're believing God for, it sparks a battle. No, it doesn't eliminate. Just because God said you're going to be prosperous, don't mean that the devil just going to, you're going to waltz into to Jer uh, 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 Jericho and just take, I mean, he just going to, everybody just, no, 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 no. No. You're going into warfare. Everything God has supplied for us it's all spiritual blessings. Yeah, 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 yeah. And when we understand that the spiritual blessings produces a natural prosperity, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. we will begin to understand why the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Yeah. See, I don't need to fight nobody for what I want. Yeah. I don't need to be jealous of nobody yeah. because they have this and I don't.
or deliver this Philistine. Oh, what, what, what? This same God that gave me the ability to kill the bear and the lion. Yeah. This same God yeah. that gave me that ability will give me the victory over this Goliath. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's why I keep, I keep telling you, introduce your God to your problem. All right. And the only way you can do that, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta tell your problem, hear ye the word of the Lord. Yeah. I hear what you say, but hear ye the word of the Lord. You're gonna be out those in 24 hours. Okay, but hear ye the word of the Lord. But the word says, I've been young, I've been old, but I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Yeah. <laughs> 
We may try to hold you, see, that ain't godly. Uh, no, don't put your stuff on me. All right. No, no, no. Yeah, don't put your stuff on me. No, you don't know what I just come through. Right. You don't know where I've been. Yeah. You don't know that I was once blind, but now I see. Right. Y'all can talk about this man all y'all want. Y'all trying to get me to help you convict this Jesus, but here's what I'm telling you. Yeah. All Who is it that 
would defy us, Anna, of all that God has for us. Yeah. Who is it, Tony, that, that is able to defy us? They would even try. Tell the devil, say, don't even try. Don't even try. Point down at him, say, don't even try. Don't even try. Don't even try. Pastor, why are you telling him? Point down, because he's supposed to be under your feet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah. All right. Tell him again, said devil. Yeah. Don't even try. It. Don't even try. It. You're not stealing my joy. You're not stealing my victory. Because the victory is already mine. Whoever it is that wants that prayer, I feel led to lay hands today. I feel led to lay on hands today. Oh. Brother Armani, come here. Come here. Lift your hands to God. God, we thank you for your praise. We thank you for this young man. The enemy has attacked his body. But God, from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, we thank you for your deliverance. God, glory, we thank you for your deliverance. And we're praising you now for this praise report. In Jesus' name. Now, God, as these 